Hi Aries, this is Just with your May 13th, 2019 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Aries, um, I have to say, it seems like some of you are definitely, this is the week of overindulgence and it may be in a form of alcohol, drinking, rich foods, um, just really giving into your senses completely this week. Uh, your challenge may be really seeing the situation for what it is, no longer fighting off or holding off from making a decision um, and walking away from something, departing from it to move forward with something else, okay? Some of you may be in this place where you're feeling it looks a whole lot better than it has previous readings where you guys were in this huge conundrum <laughs> emotionally in your own emotional prison. It still looks like some of that is still stuck with you of having to walk away and let something go from the past. It may be you or another person who may have felt like someone did the other person wrong for other, uh, some of you. It's one or the other for some of you that can relate. Um, so letting it go, no longer feeling the need to find out, get down to the bottom of it, ask another question, but just really kind of letting it go and be what it needs to be finally. It looks like some of you, I do see that your finances has looked good in the past, okay? And there may have been, if, especially if you're an Aries man, that you are imparting your finances to a female, uh, someone of a feminine energy may be the one that either saves the money, pays the bills, um, you give the money to her, she takes care of, you know, the bank account, that sort of thing. She holds the money, if that makes any sense. And if you are an Aries woman, it looks like your finances, that may be you or your finances is one that you try to hold on tightly to. Uh, people may, may not really know exactly how much money you make. Um, you keep money in several different stashes. And some of you Aries women, especially if you are the money maker in your family, there's maybe a whole purse of money that's hidden that no one knows anything about. And I feel that because some of you are in this place where financially you're doing well for yourself, you're no longer guarded. You feel like you can be a little bit more open and so some of you I feel like you're a lot more relaxed this coming into this week and you're definitely indulging 100%. Um, I just see overindulging in food and wine and you know rich things and it's all to fill fulfill your emotional satisfaction. I mean you do have sun in its second house which is what rules all of those senses so you guys it's no surprise that you're going through this right now. So I do see that feeding of one's senses of your your inner desires through emotional fulfillment but by way of of eating and drinking and those sorts of things. Um, if you're looking for work, I would say that this may be the kind of week that you're meeting with a lot of people because you have a lot of people in your spread. Uh, there's definitely could be an offer coming in for some of you next week to what the end of the week going into the next week. And congratulations for those of you, of you who've already found out that you're being offered a position, you will have a reason to celebrate as we get closer to the end of this week going into next week, as I said. Uh, there may be a bit of a waiting period, but it looks very favorable for some of you if you're looking for employment. Again, your finances this week looks pretty good. I don't see any particular losses, but I do see that someone may be gearing up to leave or possibly be let go in a work environment, and that's being kept hidden. It may take another two to two weeks to two months before it's um, discovered or before someone says that they're going to let you go or you're leaving. There is a decision here, though, that you're going to have to take a leap of faith on, okay? I get for some of you areas, you're thinking really deeply about this decision-making. It's something that you, you've not moved on, uh, but you're feeling it very strongly within deep down inside and some of you um, some of you may feel like you're gonna give up on it like you know you have to give up on deep down inside what your feelings are and some of you I do feel like you're in your feelings heavy uh, this particular week but I feel not don't move so far away from this feeling deep down inside like take 
real stock in it. You've been holding yourself back for a very long time, um, not wanting to make this decision, but now allowing yourself to make this decision and possibly go after what you what feels good for you deep down inside, what your heart is telling you to do. Because right now, this week is definitely going to be about your emotions. Next week, probably you'll be a more of a practical um, energy for you guys. But it definitely, especially if you're Aries man, it definitely speaks more to your emotions guiding you. Um, and you should give in to that because you've been holding yourself back for quite some time. If you're an Aries woman, though, I feel that some of you, you've been playing several different hats, right? You've had to be the mother and the business owner, the worker, and you've had to be the wife and the girlfriend and, you know, the decision maker and, you know, keep everyone's head together. So you've had to, you know, wear quite a few uh, hats and it's going to, it's only going to persist this week. And you may find that you have to emotionally be there for a particular person in your life. It could be a sister, a friend, a mother, that sort of thing. But I do get feminine energy for all of you Aries this week would be very heavy. Okay. Um, and I get mother, father energy also can be very prominent here. Some of you may find out this week that you're pregnant or someone could be expecting. I see that very strongly. So congratulations. Hopefully, Hopefully it's going to be a, a congratulations. <laughs> I do see possibly going to a wedding or a shower toward the end of the week. So that looks good. Um, it looks like maybe if someone is pregnant, the father may not be so happy about it. Okay. But uh, he's easily convinced. So I don't feel like it'll be a huge problem. And messages is coming to you guys very quickly. A message is going to come in if you're waiting for some type of a settlement, uh, judgment, it's going to come in and it may be quite favorable for you guys, especially if it has something to do with children, um, some type of child support, um, some type of ruling regarding children or some form of support. looks like um, it may be a very favorable. Again, we're coming off the hills of Mother's Day, so it could be that sort of thing, gift giving, communications, going back and forth, that sort of thing. Uh, but all in all, it looks like a really good week, but a very emotional week as we get it toward the end of the week. You guys, guys may take a break from all this overeating, overindulging. Um, someone may even have to literally pour out their drink because they've overdone it, okay? Um, and start to reestablish a more healthier lifestyle, okay? More drinking of more water, that sort of thing. Trying to detox, which is what it looks like you're going to damn sure need to do by the end of the week. Uh, and it may be just in time because again, I see some of you may try to clean your system out before you head back out again and go into yet another festivity this upcoming weekend. So great times to be had for some of you out here. It looks like again, the male energy, Aries men looks a little bit, you know, um, you guys look conflicted. I have to say that you look a little conflicted. Your emotions look like they may be running on 10. Uh, you've been trying to hold back, hold back, hold back. There's some things that you want to share, some things that you want to say, some things you want to get off your chest when it comes to your emotion and your heart, okay? Uh, let's get into love. So when it comes to your love life, I'm saying very strongly here, there may be three up to four, but more, more mainly three women that may be very prominent in an Aries man's life. If you're an Aries woman, uh, you may have, <laughs> there could be a, a, a mother, could be a sister, Okay, um, but I get this person may be a contender, not necessarily a mother. So it could be the mother, you, and um, a contender, an outside party that, you know, you could be dealing with someone who is still going through a breakup. They're in the process of a divorce, a separation, that sort of thing. And it's kind of being kept secret. A lot of things are being hidden uh, as to the details of departing. You could be departing from a relationship as well. And those things are kind of kept secret. Someone could be playing nice if they're trying to... Um, break up. I see that. I see there's been a challenge of someone no longer allowing themselves to be somewhat manipulated. Like I get someone could be victimizing themselves and the person is always trying to find out like, you know, what did I do or what happened or, you know, talk to me, that sort of thing. And I get the challenge for someone to say, you know what, time out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to play this game anymore. You're not a victim or I apologize. And I'm just going to, you know, take my walk I'm gonna leave uh so that's your challenge and I feel that some of you definitely if you're single you've been seriously indulging seriously indulging um trying to get over something that has been problematic for you 
Um, probably some of you don't want to be single anymore, but there isn't the quality of, of people out there that you are going to, you know, you're not going to just settle for anything is what I see. So you may, again, be indulging because some of you may need some sexual healing and you're just doing that to satisfy some form of craving is what it looks like. Um, okay, so back to this. I get messages, messages coming out. Um, I get serious secrets um, that's not coming out just yet, but there's a lot of secrets that's being held within. And I do feel like there could be someone thinking of wanting to fix a situation with a particular person. And then I get someone who has a lot of options, like at least three, definitely two options. Okay. Um, and doesn't know who the hell to pick and almost feels like, you know, I just want to kind of start from scratch or I really want to take a leap towards something completely new, but then I will call for you to have to, you know, um, get real with yourself. And I don't think this is the week that some Aries want to be real. I don't think this week some Aries want to deal with the fact that, hey, you know, I like her. I'm with her, but I have my eye on her. I don't think some Aries want to admit the fact that they themselves could be quite a cheater. They've done it before. They're on their way to do it again. And it's like, okay, what do I do? I think some Aries doesn't want to admit, and I'm speaking more predominantly to Aries men, that they're with a woman. They love they love a woman, but they still have one to two women that they can't let go. There's definitely at least another woman that an Aries man can't let go. Okay. Um, but but it looks like you're making a decision to go toward a particular woman because you love this woman, you know this woman loves you, you guys are vibrating off of the same energy, but deep down inside there's still um Deep down inside, some Aries men and Aries women, this is how some man is feeling toward you. He's not sure. He's not sure 100%, especially if somebody is dealing with somebody from their past. I'm sorry. Well, it could be that, but especially if someone is already dealing with someone, okay? Aries women, if you're, if, if you're, some, if you're someone, if you're the person from someone's past, you're not with them and they've already moved on to another person, they're not really sure. And Aries men, you're not really sure um, if your feelings are 100% for this person or if there's somebody else that you still have an attachment to. Because I definitely see two women who are very much... Um, like this woman is very much aware of the other woman. The other woman may not be aware of her. Or just not focused, not paying attention to it. So this week, I do see that uh, someone has a decision to make very much in their feelings. I do feel like at some point, this person will become a bit despondent, like he doesn't want to be bothered, period. Uh, and whoever he's in a relationship with, he will find himself trying to reconcile that. Like if he's, if he's pushed, if he has pushed the person away, he'll, you know, try to fix it and let's get back together or let's, you know, it's not a big deal. I was just, you know busy with this A, B, and C, and, you know, let's go out and let's make up for lost time, that sort of thing. But, you know, pay attention to some sl small red flags if your mate is becoming a bit despondent, simply because I feel like he's going through a major emotional change. There's still a def there's definitely still another person in his life that he's trying to figure all of these feelings out, out, and he's very overwhelmed by it, and it is causing him to um, act erratic or, you know, go through these different stages that I'm seeing happening here. If you are uh, an Aries woman, some of you are definitely pregnant and <laughs> you're going to be in child support. Uh, I feel like if you're single, definitely go out because toward the end of the week, you're going to definitely meet someone. Absolutely. You guys are like right there at the point of meeting someone either that's going to get you pregnant or that you're going to marry and have a baby by. But I definitely see very strongly that Aries woman is pregnant or she's about to be pregnant. Uh, so be very careful if you are have if you're out there just flinging and you don't want to be pregnant, be very careful because you have pregnancy all over your spread. I'm surprised I didn't see the sun card. If I keep pulling, I'm sure I'll, I'll see it. Um, so yeah, love looks really good. There's a There's a man that deeply still loves you here, okay? If you're in a relationship, everything is going fine. Um, again, you may be just dealing with his mother, his sister, his mother, his ex, um, definitely could still be in the picture and he's still trying to reconcile those feelings from the ex. Cause I get that very strongly. Someone's trying to reconcile their feelings when it comes to an ex. 
Um, and if you are single, you're still trying to reconcile your feelings from an ex, but the way that you're going to remedy, remedy it is overindulging, drinking, eating. Uh, and then by the end of the week, you'll reconcile that for yourself. And then you'll just go out and try to, I guess, find someone <laughs> or just enjoy yourself and not be so much in your feelings because Aries men are definitely in their feelings this week. Aries women are definitely, and it could be over a Sagittarius woman that just came in my head, but Aries women are definitely in their own element, very very much attractive and alluring. Um, if you guys are in a relationship, someone is still trying to get over and past X within the relationship. Uh, and their attitude may be a bit sporadic. And if some of you guys are just now dating and dating someone, I feel that there is a strong realization that you're falling in love with someone and they're falling in love with you. Um, yeah, I see love all over your cards this week. So someone is making a decision that they're offering their cup, they're offering their love, or, you know, they're, they're realizing just how much they love this person. Okay. Um, are they, are they going to tell you right here, right now? They may have already said it, but, but the extent to which they feel for you, you really don't understand <laughs> that they haven't expressed fully 100%. Uh, so that's what I kind of see for you guys. Um, this week looks really good when it comes to love. Um, if you're interested in, in the extended there, I will pull some cards to see <clears throat> how this person feels about you. What are your challenges when it comes to you? What are some of the things that they possibly regret? What would their actions be towards you this particular week and how that is going to work out? And what do they want to tell you deep down the side if they could? And what are they thinking when it comes to you? So if you are interested in that, please click that link below for the extended. Otherwise, I would love to hear from you guys regarding this week. If it resonates for you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you would like something with, with me personally, I can be reaching the beginning and into this video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Aries.